So in this video, we are going to learn how to create OneDrive folder for a new task in Asana project. Now suppose guys, you and your team members are using Asana as a project management tool and you want that whenever a new task is created into a specific project in Asana, you want to create a new folder in OneDrive with the same task name to contain all the files and data of that particular task. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new task will be created in Asana, automatically with the same task name, a new folder will be created in our OneDrive account. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Asana to OneDrive. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first, we have to connect our Asana account with Pabli Connect in this trigger window so that every time a new task is created in Asana, the details of that newly created task will be received inside Pabli Connect. Now, after receiving that data, new task data inside Pabli Connect, using Pabli Connect automation, we are going to send some details to OneDrive and then with the same task name, which we have given to the task in Asana, we are going to create a folder in our OneDrive account. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window in choose app, search for Asana and select it. After selecting Asana in trigger event from this dropdown, we have to select the trigger event as new task in project. Then after that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Asana account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Asana button. Now, because I have already logged into my Asana account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account and make the connection. And after making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the project. So it is most likely possible, as you can see here in our Asana account, we might have created multiple projects over here in which we are going to create some new task. So here guys, Pavli Connect in this dropdown, it is asking us that from all of these projects, from which particular project we want to get the new task details. So let's take an example of this project named as video production. So here guys, I have this project. You can see a list of all the project which I have created in Asana can be seen inside Pavli Connect. And here in this dropdown, we are going to select the project from which we want to get the new task details or whenever in this particular project, a new task will be created using this automation with the same task name, a folder will be created in OneDrive. So I want to get the new task details from this particular project. After selecting a project, you just click on this save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that it has changed to waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get the details of a new task from this particular project from our Asana account. So let's do this. We will go to our Asana account and in this particular project which we have selected, we are going to create a new task. You can enter the task thing over here or go to this plus icon and create a task. For example, I'll just enter the task name as demo task. This is a task name. Let's add a description. For example, this is a test task and the project is video production and just click on this create task button. So we haven't added any other details of the task because what we wanted, we just wanted to get the task name from Asana inside Pavli Connect. And you will see as we create this task instantly within seconds, the details of the exact same task are now captured inside Pavli Connect. So here guys, we have received some response. In this response, the first response is of task ID. This is the unique task ID of this particular task which we have created. Then after that, we will scroll down further. Here you can see the user details. 
then you can see the date and time that at what date and time this task was created in our Asana account. Then we will scroll down further. Here you can see the name of the project that in which particular project this task was created. Then you can see this name of the task. The same name, demo task, which we have given to this task, the same name is received inside Public Connect in task name, in data name. Then in data note, you can see the same task description. This is a test task. We just added a short description over here. You can see the same description over here as well. And then some other details regarding to this task, like what kind of project, or if you have added some other details like the assignee or the color or any other details, you will get all of those details of a new task over here in the trigger window. That too instantly, whenever we are going to just create a task immediately, instantly, we will get these task details inside Pabli Connect. Now here guys, there is a catch. When we create a task by clicking on this plus button and then we add all the task details, here in this trigger window, you will see that all the details of a new task will be captured. But just in case, if you enter the task details, if you click on this add task button and then enter the task name and then keep on adding the task details, in that case, whenever you are going to enter the task name, immediately Asana is going to send the details of that new task group to Pabli Connect. We won't be getting any time to add the other details and after that capture this response. So in that case, what you have to do, you just have to scroll down, come to this action window and you have to choose the application as Asana and you have to use an action event inside Public Connect that is get a task by ID. And using that particular action, you can retrieve the details of a task from Asana inside Public Connect. But right now guys, what we wanted, we just wanted the name of the task because we want to create a folder in OneDrive with the same task name. So we have received that response over here in this trigger window. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. For step two, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, we will search for OneDrive. Just select it, Microsoft OneDrive. And then in action event in this drop down, here you can see we have different action events over here. Out of these action events, there are two action events which you can use. You can either create a root folder in your OneDrive account or you can create a root folder child folder. So here guys, in your OneDrive account, if you want to create a folder at the home page of OneDrive, you can, if you want to create a root folder, you can select this particular action event, create a root folder. Or if you have created some folder and you want to create a new subfolder for every new task which we create in Asana, you can select this action event of create root folders child folder. So in my OneDrive account, I have created this folder named as Asana task. So this is the root folder and in this particular folder, I want to create new child folders, new subfolders every time a new task is created in Asana. So I'm going to select this action event, create root folders child folder over here. After selecting the action event, just click on connect and select add new connection over here. So here we have to connect our OneDrive account with Public Connect in this step. And to make this connection, click on this connect with OneDrive button. Select your Microsoft OneDrive account and then just scroll down and click on yes. And as we click on yes, we will see our Microsoft OneDrive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the folder list. So here guys, we have selected the action event as create root folders child folder. We are going to create a child folder, a subfolder. So here, the first thing it asks us is the folder that in which particular folder you want to create the subfolder or the child folder. And in this drop down, you will see a list of all the folders which we have created in our Microsoft OneDrive account. So I have this folder named as Asana task. And in this particular folder, I want to create the child folder or the subfolder. So I'm going to select that same folder in which I want to create the subfolders over here. So we have selected that. Then it is asking us the folder name that what will be the name of the new folder which we are going to create. So as we discussed, we wanted to give the name of the folder as the name of the task. Whatever task name we are going to enter over here in Asana, with the same name, we wanted to automatically create a folder in OneDrive. So here guys, we have received the name of the task in response in our trigger window from Asana. So every time a new task is created in Asana, we will get that response inside Pabli Connect and in, and in that response, you will see the task name as well. So we are going to map this response of the name of the task over here 
in this field of folder name. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Asana of a new task being created. Out of all of these responses, select this response of task name and it will be mapped over here. After mapping the name of the task in this folder name section, the last thing it asks us is the folder type. So from this drop down, we have only one folder type right now and that is default. So we are going to select that over here. And after entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the folder name which we have mapped over here with the same name, a new folder, a child folder is created in our OneDrive account. And that folder is created in this folder which we have created in folder list. So let's check it. We will go to our OneDrive account and we'll just refresh this folder page once. And yes, here you can see that a new folder has been created in our OneDrive account named as demo task. The same name of the folder which we have given as a task name over here in Asana. So this means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now using this automation, whenever a new task will be created in a particular project in our Asana account, automatically with the same task name, a folder will be created in our Microsoft OneDrive account. And now here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. We will just go to our Asana account and we are going to create a new task over here. Click on this create task button and let's enter the task name as for example, real time test. This is the name of the task. Let's add this project for which we have created this automation. And then let me add a description as we are testing this automation. And then just click on this create task button. So just now we have created a new task in this project in our Asana account. And we will see as we create this task automatically within seconds with the same task name, a folder will be created in our Microsoft OneDrive account. So we'll just check it. We'll go to OneDrive and refresh this page once, this folder once. And yes, here you can see that real time test that with the same name, a new folder has been created in our Microsoft OneDrive account. And here it is the same name of the task which we have entered over here by creating the task in Asana. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to create a new task in Asana, automatically with the same task name, a new folder will be created in our OneDrive account. So here guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.